Hello there. It's Inktober again. <sighs> now I was gonna do a witty intro. But then I realized I had nothing. So all you get is a hello. Hey, how are you? I'm swell. Hope you are too. So there's a couple things I want to talk about in this video. Hopefully I remember to talk about all of them, because I'm very forgetful. Now this video might get a little serious. I don't know, we'll see. This is my second voiceover for this, because the first one was shit. Well, I suppose it wasn't that bad. But I kind of rambled on a bit and just repeated myself over and over again. And I don't know, maybe it got a little too personal. Who knows? We'll see if I get just as personal this time. I'm gonna feel it out. Feel it out. See how I feel. Maybe I'll get personal and super serious. Maybe not. We'll see. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Surprise to you, surprise to me. Now the topics I'll discuss. One being this artwork right there, which should be the easiest thing to talk about, but who knows. I might fuck that up too. And the other two is Inktober as a whole. I'll go over my plan. Go over how I generally feel about Inktober, maybe discuss how Inktober went for me last year, and then the last one, if I really feel like talking about it, is myself and my problems with art making. The previous voiceover I did for this was pretty much about that entirely for like the majority of the video, but I figured that might have been a little too much, a little a little too on the nose. So we're gonna discuss Inktober more. I also didn't even really talk about the painting I'm doing in the previous voiceover. Like at all. So let's start with that, yeah. So I am painting Saturn and some of its moons. Just a random assortment of moons. It's not any moons in particular. Except maybe the one in the bottom corner. I can't remember which moon I based that off of. I could look it up on my phone right now, but you know, that would be awkward, so... Guess. Just guess which one. And the one in the corner, I mean the one down at the bottom right. Yeah, the bottom right. Doing well. Already mixing up my left from my right. Doing so well. This is so great. Ugh. So clearly, I'm not following with the prompt list. I'm pretty sure day one was poisonous. And I'm just doing Saturn. I'm doing some space shit because I wanted to. Oh yeah, and also this video is gonna come out a day late because of course it is. I am so punctual. I'm always on time and on top of things. I'm not. That that was sarcasm. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't sense that, it's very sarcastic. I actually ended up painting this on the 30th of September because I knew I wanted to make a video on the 1st of October, but that didn't happen because I only gave myself a few hours of the day to edit it and I ended up taking longer than I thought and then I hated my voiceover. Yeah. I'm not very good at planning things. At all. Now I guess I'll go over my plan for Inktober briefly. There's really not much to say about it, to be quite honest. I, Like I did last year, I'm doing the same thing this year. I pretty much do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm not gonna go off any prompt- Oh, uh oh. <coughs> mm. Beautiful. I'm not gonna go off of any prompt list. I kinda just do whatever. I know this time, and I think I did the same thing last year too, I actually looked up Inktober prompt lists and kind of drew from a bunch of them and took the topics that I thought would be interesting that I actually like to draw for, of, draw. My mind just shat itself right there, I kind of forgot what I was saying. It happens a lot. But I drew, drew from, took topics from other prompt list, and I also just threw my own in there. I just threw in there what I thought was interesting. I have the whole list written out in my calendar right now, and it's pretty tentative out if I am busy one day and 
some drawing seems like it'd be way too difficult for that day. I'll just switch it out with something else. Either something easier on the calendar or just something I just pulled out my ass that day. That's how I did it last year and that's how I'm gonna do it this year. Now I started on the 30th which would be two days from me recording this because I kind of wanted to be a day ahead because I wanted to be a little more on top of things when it came to videos because last year I kind of did two? Did I do two videos or did I do three? I think I might have done two and they're kind of just haphazardly put together. I did them at the last minute like I'm doing this right now. Actually no this isn't even the last minute. This is a day late. Not even the last minute. Well technically speaking I guess the previous voiceover and the editing I did yesterday was the last minute but I didn't get it done in time so it doesn't count. So yeah, I was like, oh, I'll start a day ahead of schedule so I can get the videos done on time. <laughs> no, I should have known better. I think I have five videos planned <laughs> for this month and, <laughs> oh, I'm already, I'm already doing great. Doing wonderful. Always on top of things. No, no, not at all. So it's raining right now, like all of a sudden. I don't know if you can hear it, probably not, because my microphone isn't really close to the window. I mean, the window's open, but you no, know, it's not that loud. I'm supposed to go for a walk after this, but uh, I don't know. Well, I have to go out anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's raining or not. But still, it'd be nice if it stopped. What was I talking about before? Oh no. Oh no, it's gone. Oh. Was it my Inktober schedule? I think it was. I think I said all I had to say about that. So I'll just I'll get... Ugh. So I guess I'll just get to the other two topics I wanted to talk about. And I kind of kind of covered most of the stuff I want to talk about Inktober, but I'll talk more about um more personal stuff outside of my schedule more and how I feel about Inktober and how I felt about it last year. Most of my feelings for it are positive, though some of them a little negative, but they have more to do with myself. And then that, I guess that'll lead to the last thing I want to talk about, which is, well, myself and I never have anything good to say about myself, so strap in for that. Before we get to that, though, my general opinions of Inktober. It's pretty fun. Good stuff. Great shit. Love it. Okay, the video's done. We're done. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Bye. Goodbye. I'm leaving. No. That would that would be terrible. I don't even think that was a good joke. I kind of just pulled that out my ass. I'm cursing up a storm for this video. Gosh, the YouTube algorithms are gonna love me. Honestly, the YouTube algorithm al algorithm already doesn't like me because while I'm not very, uh, what's the word? Consistent with my uploads? What has it been? Like, how many months? Since June? Since I uploaded? We'll get to that. Don't worry. So back to Inktober. It's pretty good. I really liked Inktober last year. I think I only really had a th good things to say about it last year when I made my videos. It's fun stuff. I usually have problems with sticking to a consistent art making schedule so having that bit of a challenge helps me stick to it and gives me more of a direction and a solid mm, what's the word it's foundation a solid foundation for making art something to really put my mind to and has like a set set of goals to do so I hope all that made sense Regardless, all that stuff I just said is it's good for me. It helps a lot because I'm really not good at self-directing myself when it comes to art at all. So with that being said, I guess I'll start to talking about me 
in my personal issues. In regards to art, like, I have a lot of other personal issues. We're not gonna get into those. No. <laughs> Though, a lot of the general issues that I have with myself and my life affect my art. A lot. Hmm. Gosh, I have a look at the notes I used last time because I just... Not sure how to go about talking about my problems or what I even want to say. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, yes. My biggest problem with making art is disappointment and fear. But the fear comes the disappointment. So we're just gonna we're just gonna dive right in and start with that. So I have a big problem with making art or even starting just even getting in the mindset of wanting to create anything doesn't matter if it's painting drawing i used to do a lot of fabric art when i was in college and i just just even can't i can't speak words though ha huh. <laughs> what was i talking about this, this is why i don't make videos this, this is why that's why I my brain just, just shits itself all the time. Probably one of the reasons why I have difficulty doing anything or making anything. But yes, as I was saying, it's hard to even get into the mindset of even wanting to create something. Because I'm always afraid that I'll be disappointed. Now that might not sound like much, but that disappointment typically brings me into a dark place. I know a lot of people... Who are artists use art making as an escape from miserable situations or if they're depressed or something artwork will help them alleviate some of those negative thoughts and emotions for some people but for me i'm the exact opposite if i'm already miserable art making will make me feel worse because i just can't get over that fear of disappointing myself there's been so many times where i've scrapped artwork scrapped ideas because i either didn't like how it was going and i was just completely dissatisfied and disappointed with myself and my lack of skill or i thought the idea would just be too much for me and i wouldn't be able to do it so i didn't even bother trying and those feelings of dissatisfaction with myself and my art have just gotten gotten worse and worse as time has gone on. I think it started when I was like a teen. There was little buddings of it back then. And now it just bloomed into a giant disgusting smelling corpse flower. And it's just a colossal putrid mess at this point. And I'm kind of just kind of just flowing through life not sure what I'm doing with myself most assuredly not sure most assuredly not sure ha <laughs> ha definitely not sure what I want to do with my art also definitely not sure what I want to do with myself and it's just so much for my puny little mind to wrap its head around so I just end up doing nothing at all because I can't beat the feeling of disappointment and the misery that comes with it, so I just kind of do nothing. And the irony of that is, when I do nothing, I feel even worse. So I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't, because if I don't do it, I'll beat myself up. If I do do it, I'll beat myself up because it looks like shit. Referring to my art here. Though that... Oh, same thing applies with other aspects of my life, I suppose. I haven't really enjoyed art making for a while. I mean, when I finally get into it, when I actually push away all that baggage and get into the calming flow of making art, I like it quite a bit. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible for me to even get to that point. And it's just extremely frustrating. And it doesn't help that I always have this constant cloud over me that... Of what will other p people think of the shitty artwork I make? If I make something shit and post it and people realize it, will they think that I'm a hack? 
but they realize that I'm actually not very good at this and I'm kind of just pissing in the wind most of the time. I'm not sure what the hell I'm doing. That don't help either. Now the video's almost done. There's a few other things I wanted to cover that I have on my little list here that I did cover in the previous voiceover. There goes my brain again, but it's just not gonna happen here. And you know what, I think I think I'm done. I think this is good enough. It's a lot better than the other voiceover I had, so there's that. I wanted to be a little more candid in this video. I think I was, but I didn't get as personal as I did with the previous voiceover, which you will never hear because I am about to delete it after this one, so haha, <laughs> it's gonna be gone. But I'm gonna try to be a little more candid in a lot of my videos and kind of share my struggles because when other YouTube artists share their struggles, I really can't relate to them all that much because th their struggles usually have to do with them being hard workers and working all the time and not having a time to themselves. But me, on the other hand, I have all the time in the world, but I don't do shit. Hey. So maybe there's someone out there like me that has the same struggles I have and can relate a little bit. Even just a little. That would be good enough. We all don't have our shit together, and I think, I think you've noticed that I, I don't. Not at all. I wish I did. You know what, was that, was that everything I wanted to talk about? I think that was. But I talked about it a little more succulently? Better? Words escape me. I, I, I summed it up better in this one. Glad I redid the voiceover. Hope you enjoyed. There's Saturn and its moons. Please love me. Have a good day.